Hello you guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I will be unboxing and setting up my brand new Apple M1 13 inch MacBook Pro. I just got this laptop today. Literally, it's fresh out of the delivery driver's car. I'm so, so excited to open this. This is my first Apple MacBook that I've ever had before, so I can't wait to open it and get it all set up and bring you guys along for the journey. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below, like this video, and leave me a comment if you wanna see more content like this. But without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Mine came in this little bag, but inside the bag is box that it comes in. I'm so, so excited for this. This is the box that it comes in. It's really just like, it feels like a good laptop. You know what I mean? This is the M1 MacBook Pro. So it has the new Apple M1 processing chip rather than the Intel Core chip. So that's like new and specific to Apple. And it's like a big deal right now because they're brand new and they're putting them in all their new computers. So I am really excited about this. It's supposed to be much, much faster and just like increase the productivity of your computer and just like be great. <laughs> so let's actually get into opening this, shall we? It's like tightly sealed. There's like a lot of suction, but you just, there it is. Oh my gosh, look. How pretty! So the laptop is just sitting in this base of the box and it has this little tab that it's wrapped in this plastic and you just pull the tab to slide it out. So gently right here. And then also in the box it comes with a charger I believe. So we get this nice charger and I think, yeah. The brick is back here as well, so you don't have to go out and buy anything extra or specific. That looks like it's it for the box, and then it also comes with this little, I think this is like the user's manual kind of thing. Oh, and little stickers, that's fun. And then this is the brick. This is the most satisfying, one of the most satisfying parts is peeling off. Am I tearing it? What's going on? Are you supposed to tear it? That somehow doesn't feel right. Well, sorry everyone if that wasn't satisfying. <laughs> but this is the charging brick. It looks really sleek. Like I feel like Apple products usually you feel like the brick takes up a lot of space, but this one doesn't feel like it's going to take up too much space. It's really sleek. It's not too heavy. Little outlet just pops out like that. So cute. Same thing with the cord. This looks like it wraps up pretty easily and neatly. So this looks like a nice long cord so you can, you don't have to be like right next to the wall to the outlet when you're charging, which is gonna be a huge plus. Okay, let's set these aside. They're not the main characters right now. Let's get all my trash out of the way. Okay, now it's time for the big moment when we unwrap this little plastic sheet and open the laptop for the first time. So excited, you guys. See if we can get this satisfying. Oh my goodness! Get this out of the way. How exciting. Okay, so you can see already this laptop is just so sleek. And because it's a pro, this is actually one of the main differences between the pro and the Air. This one is the same thickness throughout. There's no like wedge shape or anything like that. It's all just the same thickness front and back on all sides. It has two USB-C Thunderbolt ports on one side that also doubles as charging ports. And then on the other side, it has a headphone jack. Okay, I think that's everything on the outside. So let's open this puppy up. Oh, it has this sheet on it. Just to protect the screen, I think. So let's get rid of that. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna set up all my personal stuff on this computer off camera just so I don't accidentally show off any passwords or anything like that. 
but I will be right back with you guys when I'm done putting in all my personal information and we can set this computer up together. All right, I'm back. I finished setting up all my personal stuff and let me show you guys this computer. It is so gorgeous. All right, so here it is. This is what it looks like when you first open it and this is the lock screen where you sign in. Something I love about this computer is that it has a little touch ID pad right here. You can say, you can see that it says right here, unlock with touch ID. So I set that up. All you have to do is put your finger on it and it opens right up. There are my text messages. This is what the computer looks like when it's opened up and you're signed in. As you guys can see, I haven't even set my new lock screen yet. I did go in and I downloaded some of my favorite apps just to make sure I didn't forget about them. On my dock here, I have Finder, obviously, Messages, which is a new feature that for me on Apple, my Dell did not have that feature. Google Chrome, Photos, FaceTime, Calendar, Notes, the App Store, Minecraft, because you know your girl loves a good game of Minecraft every now and again. Spotify, Microsoft Word, Zoom, because I'm on my third semester straight of online university, so I gotta have Zoom. Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, and settings. If anyone was curious, I do use the Adobe Creative Cloud to edit my videos. So that is everything on my dock. I don't know if I'm gonna add more later or what the deal is yet, but those are the apps that I first thought of. And you guys, it is seriously so easy to download things on this computer. It's like snap speed so fast and I just love how easy it is to customize the systems are really really intuitive so it's just like it leads you to click on things that you feel like you'd click on anyway like nothing's hidden it doesn't feel like you're digging around to find things like it's just really easy to work with. I want to show you guys how easy it is to download an app onto this computer because I realized that I never like I listed all of the apps that I got and I told you guys how easy it is to download apps on this computer but I want to show you. I'm going to download the Microsoft Outlook app because that is the email system that my university uses. Okay so starting off you can see I'm just in Google Chrome and I'm going to search download Outlook and it's going to bring me the second link is the one I'm going to click on download Microsoft Outlook for Mac for Office 365 and I'm already signed in. I signed in earlier. So Microsoft Outlook for Mac, select your language. Mine is in English. And then I'm just gonna hit download. And it's gonna show up right at the edge of Chrome. I don't know if you guys can see right there. It's a little bit difficult because I'm trying to record a computer, but you can see it right there. It's the Microsoft Outlook app installer is downloading. It's finished now, so all I have to do is go over here, click on it, and it will open the installer down here, and it brings up this little window here, which is how you download apps. You guys, this is so simple. So you just hit continue. It's gonna guide you through everything. Here's the license. I'm just gonna continue, agree to the license because I read this the first time I downloaded it, and I'm gonna hit install. Then it's gonna ask me to put in my fingerprint, which is so easy. I just go over here onto the fingerprint scanner and put it in. It's going to install the file. You guys can see that by that blue bar, how fast it's going. And it's already, I'm not even done talking yet and it's already installed. So you guys can see like how fast and easy it is to download things on this computer. So then I'm just gonna hit close, move to trash. That's the installer. I don't need the installer anymore, obviously because the app is already installed. Then I'm just gonna go over here to Finder, open my applications, and scroll until I see Microsoft Outlook. There it is. Double click on this to open it. You guys can see it's gonna open down here in my dock. It's gonna take a second to open. And there it is. And then I would put in all my information and there I'd be set up with my Outlook. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the processing speeds on this computer are so, so fast. Like blink your eyes and you'll miss it fast. I'm gonna show you a quick example. Like I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos for YouTube. And on my Dell, it would take like up to five minutes to open the app on my computer, just to open the app, not to start editing, not to any of that, just to like run the system and get it ready and open it before I did anything else. 
Five minutes in the grand scheme of the day is not a long time, but if I have to take five minutes every time I open my app, that can rack up time and really, really be a time suck when I'm kind of on a crunch and I'm trying to edit my video and post it on the same day, for example. So I wanna show you guys how fast it opens Premiere Pro. It's insane. Okay, so we're back here on the computer and if you guys have ever run some beefy apps like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or any other video editing, or photo editing apps, you guys know that they usually take a long time to boot up because they are such heavy applications and they require so much beef to open, for lack of a better word. But I wanna show you guys how quick this is. So let's just click on Adobe Premiere Pro, click on that and open it. It opens up this little screen, you can see that like that bar right there was scrolling so fast and it's already open. That took what, 10 seconds? For comparison, I'm gonna show you guys how long it takes Adobe Premiere Pro to open on my Dell. To make it as fair as possible, I have closed all of my other apps on this computer. I'm gonna open my Creative Cloud, scroll down until I get to Photoshop or to Premiere Pro, excuse me. And I'm gonna click on open. This is how I open Premiere Pro all the time on this computer. I'm just gonna hit open and we're gonna see how long this computer takes it to boot up and compare them. that the MacBook is so, so much faster. And like I said, in the grand scheme of things, saving a couple of seconds is not gonna be a huge deal, but it's definitely gonna save me some time and frustration in the long run. So I'm so excited that this opens a lot quicker. Now, just for comparison purposes, I'm gonna tell you guys some of the problems that I had with my Dell laptop and why I decided to switch to the MacBook. I got this Dell the summer before I went to college. It was the summer between graduating high school and starting college. So in the category we were looking at, I needed a portable laptop, something that wasn't a million pounds, that wasn't like 17, 18 inches, like I needed it to be small enough and light enough to fit in my backpack, to carry it around, but it needed to also be beefy enough to handle these larger programs that require a bit more heft, more guts from your computer. I knew going into college that I was gonna be a communications student and I was gonna have to run some of those more intense programs like Photoshop, like Adobe Premiere, like InDesign, Illustrator, you name it. I knew going in, this was even before I started YouTube, I knew that I was gonna need to run those programs. So I knew I needed a hefty computer. And on every list that we looked up, the Dell XPS 13 inch was the one that ranked either first or second on every website. And we were like, this is great. Another thing about this laptop that we really liked, it's one of those like convertibles where you can have it as a laptop, but it also has a touch screen. It's a touch screen and it can fold up into a tablet. One of the final categories that we looked at was battery life. This computer claimed to have 12 plus hours of battery life. So it would hold a charge for 12 or more hours at peak performance. We were like, that's incredible. That's amazing. Of course I need that. I need a battery. I need a computer with a battery that will last so I can actually do some work. So as a communication student, those were the things that I was looking for that I thought would be the most important. I was like, okay, I really, really need that. Apple didn't offer a touchscreen laptop. And I just thought, this is really, this is gonna be what I need. Got to school and for the first couple of months, it was great. It worked really well. Flash forward a couple of months and this laptop just starts having problem after problem after problem. The first problem I noticed was that it wouldn't connect to my AirPods, my like Bluetooth headphones. And I thought, well, that's fine. Maybe it's because they're Apple headphones and it's not an Apple computer, whatever. Now, I don't think that should be a problem, but that's just what I figured. And then as the months rolled on, like I said, it hasn't even been two years that I've had this computer. It just, more and more things like that kept happening. The battery life is so, so drained and I don't know what happened. 
At this point, it can't be away from the charger for more than two hours, even when I'm not running beefy programs, even when I'm running things like Google Chrome and Microsoft Word, which don't require a lot of battery life. So it was things like that that really started to kind of get me thinking like, well, this is almost a brand new laptop, like in the grand scheme of laptop battery or laptop lifespan, this is not an old laptop. And then other things started happening like the USB port stopped working and I couldn't find an adapter that would get the USB port to work and then my audio would stop working. I just had a lot, a lot of problems with this computer and things that like we really couldn't explain. It wasn't like I dropped it and it stopped working or anything. It never got wet, like nothing like that ever happened. It just kind of fritzed out one day and really couldn't figure out why. So ultimately in the last couple of months after I'm trying to go to class and I can't even get through one class without needing to plug my computer in after it had been charging all night, I just, I, I was just like, I can't do this anymore, especially as a student studying online from home. I need a computer with a battery life that's reliable, with a sound system that's reliable, and it, I just can't be working with like a lemon, basically. So those are the main reasons, functionality reasons, I should say, that I decided to get a new laptop. All right, so that's pretty much everything I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it for me and don't forget to subscribe down below and leave me a comment because I love chatting with you guys. But that's it for this one and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Just some you get used to, yeah. Go blame the Joe Blows, yeah. It's just the Joe Blows, yeah. Walk around like who you, yeah. Just some.